How's it going everybody? My name is Hayden and today I'm going to do my last tutorial video. The reason why it's going to be my last video is because I'm going to be using Twitch from now on, link in the description below, and that's going to be every Tuesdays and Fridays and you'll be able to ask me any questions you want and it's more, uh, the answers are more immediate as opposed to you requesting a tutorial and then a couple days later you see it. So yeah, link in the description below. But what this tutorial is going to be about is how I do my text tree. If you look on the left here you can see the train that I've made. If you haven't seen that train, here's the link. And on the right is the texture that I made for it. All of my images, or sorry, all of my models use the same format, a 32 by 32 uh, image, and then squared colors, or patterns I guess, applied to the model. And the way this works is the first one tends to be the main color, followed by a highlight color and then a special color. Then they each have a secondary shade, then this goes by darks, and then these fill in the extra parts. So if it's an eye, it would be blue here. And that part tends to mess up a little bit when you mess when you pull uh, different textures on objects. So if I were to pull, let's say, the shrub fin texture onto this, this would be blue. But it actually looks pretty good, so no complaints there. Now, if you're wondering why I do two tones, you can see really here it's extremely noticeable. That was because I made the difference, uh, well, two different, and you can see it. So I'll have to fix that so they blend in better. But if you look in and let's say go to here. You can see slight differences, like this piece and this piece. That's because of this change. And there's a bunch here, like this one and this one are the two different colors entirely. But you don't really notice it, it just gives it like that extra bit of, almost like a lighting effect. It's false, but it, it looks good. So I go in Material View, you can see it's slightly better. And the way I do this is very simple. You take your object in Edit Mode, you grab it all, and you do U, Smart U, UV Project. The reason being, or why you don't need to mark any seams, is because you're just going to make them all fit in boxes anyways, so it's irrelevant to mark seams, and it saves a lot of time actually. So once you Smart UV Project, it tends to all fit in your one image. You want to load up the image that you've made, and you'll see it here. So what I tend to do is grab everything, and I pull it all off, and it'll all be, remember, one giant mass. I take all the colors of the one, pe er, all the pieces that I want to be one color, grab them, size it down so it would fit in a square and pull it into where it needs to go. And I do that for all of them. And then eventually you get, you know, the nice color. And the way to see it in Blender is to actually create a material, so I'll do it right now. You'd say new. Instead of having color here, you press this little circle and then you go image texture and then choose the image that you've done. So I'll choose this one and there you go. If I deleted this, it should still be applied the exact same because it's now this texture. So I'll just undo all that though no need to modify anything. So now I'll just hop into Unity and show you what this allows you to do. Okay, so I've jumped into Unity here and I have a whole bunch of different trains in line. And if you see, they all seem to actually work with all these different textures, but in reality, if I go to my materials, they're just all these. So if I drag the fire hydrant in, look at how that looks. It, it fits perfectly, right? I have the main color, the highlight color, all that going. So let's take Park Bench, drag it in, it once again fits, and it's that simple. If I set these objects to static, what that would then do is they would batch them together and ha they would like reduce the amount of draw calls on my game. Static obviously means the object won't move. Now, if you look at Vehicles Blue, that one doesn't really work. The reason being is I hadn't invented the method yet, so I need to go back and fix all the vehicles to be um, following the same pattern. Because if you look here in this top right corner, you'll see that it's not following any pattern at all. It's just random colors and all directions and craziness. So I need to fix that. But all these other things would work just fine. Oh, here's another one that I hadn't... Yeah, as you can see here, the colors went in this direction, the wrong, wrong way. So it doesn't work, but this one will work perfectly. And that's really powerful. So I'm going to quickly show you back in Blender here. If I were to have, let's say, a cube, I would set up this cube using this textures. I go in, edit mode, U, Smart UV Project, and then hit OK. You'll notice they all appear. If you click one and they disappear on you, that's because you need to make sure this is on. Now you also want to be in Face Select, so then you can re-grab them at will. Because if you were on Vertex Select and you grabbed this vertice here and you moved it, you notice how it's pulling multiples? You don't want that. You want to just be able to grab the one face, move it around. Now, I would assign a new material to it. I would give it the image texture, and I would choose whatever I want, so vehicle texture. And then, say I want the top square to be black, I want this one to be blue, I want this one to be dark blue, let's make that over here, I would size this down. This is the same method that I would do for all my objects. 
and you have it like this. I didn't choose any other colors but blue and black. It's kind of dark. Let's put those over. And now if I put this into Unity, I can switch out this uh, material applied to it and it'll work perfectly. So that was my quick tutorial video. I know it was fast, but it shows you how I do my texturing. And well, texturing just isn't a hard thing to do. It's a really quick boom, boom, boom process. So I hope you guys, you know, liked it and you guys do that. Or you texture your objects that way because it is a really good time saver. And like I said earlier, if you haven't seen the train video, I recommend you check it out. Also, here's my Twitch. So you can go ahead and follow me there. The page might not be made yet, depending on if you're clicking this when I just uploaded it or not. It might already be all made, I might have a bunch of followers, who knows. But click there if you want to be able to follow along and see me make stuff in real time. Um, I'm going to be uploading all the videos from there onto YouTube, but as time lapses still. But you will be able to find all the real time videos there. Anyways, I've been me, you've been you. Take care everybody.